I picked up some master locks. Looks like most of them been out in the weather. Uh, they still in fair shape, all steel construction. It says master on one side, TEH on the other side, and the shackle says hardened. These are a four pin lock. These are very good locks to learn to uh, pick in binding order. Take your time on the binding order and fill the pins. Go at it methodically, real slow. Don't get over aggressive. If we um, find a binding pin in the lock, all right, let's say that uh, it's number four, which I believe it is, and let's say if we get a little bit over anxious for it and, and really put a little pressure on it and overset it, then you'll never get this lock open by setting the other pins. And there I go. Made a liar out of myself. The lock opened. Guess I didn't overset the pin. I thought I did. So let's try um, oversetting this pin. Okay, I believe that pin is overset, so if you get real aggressive with these locks, your uh, Okay, that's that one still open, so I guess I'm not oversetting the pin. I thought I was oversetting the pin. Let's try another one. But be very slow and fill all your pins before you decide to set any pin at all. Felt like one of the pins uh, set in just touching them. That does happen a lot of times. You do not need a lot of uh, force on your tension wrench on these locks. Occasionally you'll find one that you will. But most of the time you don't. And that one's open before I thought it was going to open they do that a lot of times but you have to really fill your pins and uh, see if we can overset a pin here let's make sure we do okay now uh, still didn't overset it. it don't get over aggressive with setting your pins you want to take your time and feel for that binding pin, the first one. If you do not uh, hit the right pin the first time, you'll never get it open. All right, you can uh, open these locks uh, fairly easy most of the time. But it is good training locks. That's about all they're really good for. They're not really uh, a lot of security to them. All right, this one's buying it. I got a pin stuck also. Um, yeah, one of the pins is stuck up in the cylinder or the Bible. It feels like. Uh, number four pin is stuck so I have to uh, lubricate that one but see if you can get a get you some of these locks and practice with and I mean that don't just practice with them two or three days practice with them for three or four weeks or longer wherever how long it takes to uh, learn binding order and how the pins feel when you uh, set the pins. Otherwise, uh, if you don't set them properly, you'll never open the lock. But you will run across one every once in a while that will give you a big headache and you just say, well, that, that lock just will not open. I can't open it. I don't know what's wrong. And... Uh, that's because you've uh, got out of practice and you need to go back to square one, start over again. 
and learn to pick these locks. Um, okay, this one has a uh, sticking pin in it. I can feel the pin that's sticking. Uh, sometimes you can get it to work loose and sometimes you can't without lubricating it. I should have lubricated all these locks before I sit down. Okay. Anyway, this will be a short tut tutorial on uh, picking these locks in binding order. Uh, I think my time's about up. I'm going to have to uh, close it out now. So maybe I've helped someone. I know I've helped myself on these locks. But I'll lubricate these other uh, four locks and um, open them up so I can make keys for them. Please stay safe. Have a good summer day. Hope it's not raining in your part of the country. Do not do anything illegal. And thank you for your time.